Hey, what's up? My name's Garrett and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll be talking about if it is a good idea to dye your seats in your car. And this applies to specifically leather seats. I don't have any experience in dyeing cloth seats so today. I'll be only talking about dyeing leather seats. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Garrett and I have a 2012 Mustang 5.0. About six months ago over the summer, I dyed my seats from tan to red and I was doing a whole bunch of research online on YouTube and seeing what people had to say about it, uh, the process and everything like that and like different companies and stuff like products, brands that they used. And I wanted to come on here and share my thoughts, a little six month review and also tell you guys why it is either a bad idea or a good idea to do it. So in terms of the process, what it looked like doing it, I did it myself. Um, it was August or September when I did it, so it was pretty nice out. It took me uh, two weekends, I believe. Two weekends is what I want to say. Uh, that's how long it took. Uh, first step, I took out all the seats. I cleaned them very thoroughly. And I will link what I use, the uh, the brand and the products, what I use down below in the description if you're interested. So I took out all the seats, I scrubbed them very, very, very well because the instructions and all the videos that I watched, they really cracked down on telling their viewers that it is extremely important to thoroughly clean every nook and cranny of your seat and whatever else that you, that you are dying. So let me talk about the positive and the negatives of doing this. Uh, let's start with the positive. The positives, it absolutely transforms the look of your interior, no doubt about it. Uh, this car used to be tan, like I said, and it is red. It has absolutely transformed the look of the interior, and I cannot be happier with it. And my car has a dark blue exterior, and I think the dark blue exterior with the red interior is such a sweet combination. Uh, I know that the Charger and Challengers, RTs, Scat Packs, and stuff like that, I know they have that color scheme where you can get a blue exterior and a red interior. I don't know if the Mustangs and Camaros do it, but I don't know. I think it's just such a cool, unique color scheme to have. Oh, my car has heated seats, and yes, you are still able to use them. However, I think that is speeding the process up of the dye, like slowly starting to wear and come off over time. So that's definitely not a good thing. But anyways, let's talk about a couple negative things that I have. In the instructions from the kit that I bought, they talked about you needing to um, maintain them four to six times a year, which is, I mean, I guess it's okay. I've put some this conditioner stuff on to protect the leather and for the leather to soak up these nutrients that they call, they call it. So yeah, there's a quite a bit of upkeep to maintain these. Um, another negative is if you work a dirty job and this is your daily driver, it is not going to be a fun time for you. And I say that because I do body work, I get very, very dirty. Uh, this is my daily driver and I kind of wish that I wouldn't, I didn't dye my seats. Because of that reason, every week I have to sit on a towel because I don't want all the the dirt and stuff I mean I blow myself off before I get in the car every time but it's just such a pain to keep this car clean uh, it, I mean it's a it's a pain to keep the seats clean you can only use certain things to clean the seats and you just can't take like any like ordinary leather wipe and just wipe it down from my knowledge correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below but that's what I have been informed in the past so what do I think about the seats after six months of daily driving this car? I don't think that you should dye your seats if this is going to be your daily driver. I say that because it is just so much wear and tear and I've only had these for six months. I'm not sure how, much, how long the dye will stay on the seats and my driver's seat, it is cracked and torn in a couple places. I did the best job I can uh, when cleaning them. And you know, it's the dye is coming out of the cracks, which I mean, it, I guess it's expected. Like the seats weren't in perfect condition uh, before I did this project, just on the driver's seat. However, on the passenger seat, there are a couple spots that are coming off like the dye and is faded so that part is kind of frustrating but enough of me rambling on let me just show you 
please excuse the dirty car, but this is how we're looking here. This all just recently happened within the last two months, I want to say. So, as you can see, my seats are cracked. They're pretty worn out to begin with, so I can't give it too much hate for this. But, um, if you have cracked seats, this is what, I don't want to say you should expect, but this could happen. And then I do have a tear up here and then a slit right there in the seat, but... give you an idea and then I also dyed the leather um leather uh, the door skin I guess you could say right here my car is so dirty and then let's check out the other center and if you're new to the channel this is what I daily drive and you should definitely subscribe because we have lots of Mustang content if you're into this stuff and then we also have 300 SRT content on the channel that one rare, beautiful car that everyone forgets about, and Chrysler doesn't make that variant anymore. Got a Roush Axelbeck exhaust on her. Man, I am so sorry. I was not prepared for this video today. Got some crumbs a little bit in the uh in the cracks but anyways this is how we're looking driver's seat or the passenger seat i mean excuse me so right here is what i'm talking about it's just coming up right here and then right here i have no idea why like this seat is in pretty dang good condition as you can see here's what the back seat looks like back seats look amazing Oh, and then right here, I know, I, I, uh, I, sh I don't know, I should have taped this off or, like, sprayed it with paint red instead, because right here, it is chipping away, so that, that part is kind of frustrating, but I don't know, I'm kind of, overall, I am pleased with it. Should you do it, it's really up to you. Um, if I were to do it all over again, I wish that this wasn't my daily and it was just, like, a fun car that I had. And also, if I didn't work such a, uh, a dirty job, I would really enjoy these seats even more because I wouldn't ever get them dirty. I hope this video was able to help you out. If you're kind of on the edge of wanting to dye your seats, if you're not sure if it's right for you or not, I'd say the hardest part with the project was being patient with it. Uh, the process, it was, it was pretty long. Like I said, it took me two weekends to do. So um, the first weekend, I I was doing like all the all the seats at the same time like all the coats at the same time and then towards the end of the first weekend I I decided um, I think man it was so long ago bear with me but I think I sped up the process a little bit and decided just to focus on the driver's seat because I needed to drive it for work and stuff so yeah because I didn't have these other seats back here and there was just a week that I was just rolling with this seat in here so um, that's what the process looked like and I really I highly recommend you check out the video that I did on how to dye your seats if you're interested in it thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video if you enjoyed it and found value in it please give it a like and consider subscribing today my name is garrett like i said and this is my 5.0 that i daily drive and do content on we also have 300 srt on the channel content on the channel so if you're interested please subscribe today we are trying to grow we're new to youtube and we would love to have you here at dna drives and like always we hope to see you back here with another dna drives video Thank you so much. Take care. It all started when a dumb met another dumb and they met another dumb and they became the dumb trio the end.